Hi! Hello everybody! <laughs> this is Alina from Belgium. I can't see how many people so are there. Hello everybody! <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Alina. I am um, Ugly Duckling distributor in Belgium and I wanted to show you first where I work and uh, this is uh, our place and then uh, we are going upstairs for the free class. Um, I'm going to turn uh, my camera and I show you just uh, a little bit of uh, our place so you know where I spent uh, my days, <laughs> almost, uh, this is almost my, my home, <laughs> almost 24 hours I'm here. Uh, okay, uh, hello everybody who's, who's there from Puerto Rico, hola, Carla. <laughs> I'm going to show you the, um, our place and I'm going to let you see which uh, products we are going to use today. So I'm going to turn the camera if I can because I'm not so very good with this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you can see, this is all the colors we have. Uh, we start with this place, uh, this, this place um, two years ago before it was um, in our home. And now we expand a little bit. Here is the dock. <laughs> Acrylics. Uh, we are very, very happy to work uh, with Ugly Duckling. So today we will be working with some of our um, builder base. This is uh, very, very trendy in, uh, in Europe. And I'm going to do as well um, a baby boom and a color boom. I'm going to draw, draw some uh, golden lines and some flowers. So now we are going... Um, upstairs and we are going to start so this is my feet <laughs> okay behind the scenes Ta -ta -ta -tum. okay okay we're almost there a little bit exercise Please, this is the second floor. This is where we eat. This is uh, Bobby, uh, his office. And this is my place where everything happens. Okay. I have everything ready for you. <laughs> I have some ducks here. And I'm going to explain right away what I, I am going to do this morning of this evening because in Belgium it's uh, six o'clock in the afternoon. This is not a real hand. This is just a, <laughs> a fake hand. Okay. Okay. One more time. Hello, everybody. Thank you to be here with us with this uh, free class. I'm going to explain shortly what uh, I'm going to do. Uh, I think Christical is there. I don't know, I'm not sure. Which collection is this? This is the Neon Pastel collection. I'm going to work with these colors. Uh, we are going to do this set, you see here. Some baby boomers, some flowers. And after that, uh, I will be doing a real nail, um, a baby boom with uh, build the base. Uh, thank you, Natasha, pastel neons. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to use, normally I work with uh, gloves, but when I, um, when I use the black ones, it's, I have problem with the, with the light. So I'm going to work without any gloves today. Okay, let's put the duckies inside. And here I have some samples I did with this beautiful uh, collection pastel 
neon. This one, the first one, for instance, I did with color 282 in combination with uh, Build the Base um, Milky Nude. This one I did with uh, 284. It's a very nice uh, green color in combination with Milky White um, Build the Base. The third one is with uh, 286 uh, and this one I did with uh, 281. So as you can see, you have a lot of uh, possibilities to combine this color with the different uh, build bases. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know which one you prefer I do or if I can do a couple of them. Maybe we can start with something very easy like this one. And then uh, I can do maybe this one of the... This one here, this is also very nice. Yeah. Number three, says someone. This one. This. 282. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple of them, so it's okay. Okay, let's start with this. Um, I'm going to work on tips, girls, because otherwise we won't be on time with all the samples I want to show you. So let's start by... Uh, I buff with this fine buffer. Okay. This is like a like a like a nail, you know. So you you file a little bit uh, the nail before you start with the different products. Let's put the tip here. I'm going to move a little bit my telephone so I can work uh, easily. Let's see. Can you see good? Okay. Uh, one more time, uh, hello everybody who's there, <laughs> okay, this is just uh, a tip, okay, okay, let's start, uh, I think, I think I'm going to start with this one, this is very, very, very easy to do, I'm going to use uh, gel polish uh, 282, and um, build the base uh, milky nude. All right. Um, before I start, I, I like to explain you a few things about a color boom. This can be very difficult, but uh, it is actually very, very easy to do if you follow the the rules. Let's say that. Wait, I need a piece of paper to show you something. I'm here. Okay, this, this is just a very, very short explanation so you can understand better how to do this technique. Okay. When you have uh, the nail, mm -hmm. so you do your manicure, you prepare the nail, you do the prep, you do the primer, you do a thin coat of uh, build the base clear, and then you have to mat the nail. So with a, with a, a shiny nail is more difficult. Because once you have that, you are going to apply a very, very, very thin coat of the color, more or less till here. This is the place where the apex comes. Thus the apex comes here later, and you apply a very thin layer color till here. And after that, you are going to fade in this direction with your ombre brush. And you are going to cure. Okay, but 
it has to be very thin. One is cured. You are going to apply a second layer, thin layer, but this time you stay here, this high. You are going to fade mm -hmm. and cure. Uh, meanwhile, you can work with the other hand. And one more layer. This is to have more intensity on the top of the nail here. And you are going to fade this way. In this way, you will have uh, um, a different, different, um, how do you say that? Uh, intensity here than here. Here is will be will be very light and here it will be very intense. In this way you won't see the uh, change of color. You know what I mean? Here because this is very annoying when you see the line. So uh, it is very easy. We are going to I'm going to show it in uh, in the practice, okay? All right. So let's do this. This is color 282 on the tip and I'm going to work more or less till here. As you can see, I use a very, 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 very little amount of color. Can you appreciate it? It's very, very thin. Okay, then with the uh, ombre brush, wait a minute, so, mm -hmm. I have everything here. Thus, I'm going to use this brush, ombre brush. We are going to place the brush very, very flat. You see that? Ah, don't forget to take a wipe. and to clean your brush very good good so with the brush very very flat we are going to pull the color towards the 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 cuticle let's say yeah okay i'm going to start that's very flat You can see that the line disappears. So you don't see too much. And I'm going to uh, to cure, okay? Sixty uh, seconds. And meanwhile, I'm going to prepare another tip. So maybe we can do two tips at the same time. Good. All right. And let's take another holder. And we are going to do the same uh, operation. Okay? Because the nail is completely matte. And now I'm going to work with... Uh, 285? What do you think? Is good? Or do you want me to use another color? Oh, I'm going to use this one. This is very nice. Oh, maybe... No, wait. I'm going to use the 281. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. The same thing. A very thin layer more or less this high like a little bit a little bit not too much you have to be able to see the nail through the color right and then with the ombre brush we are going to fade because don't forget the brush very very flat And you depth and you pull a little bit. 
Time to time you can clean the brush with a dry wipe. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> My tip is it's gone. Okay, my tip was gone. Sorry. I'm going to start again. Yay. This happened on the life. Always. <laughs> I, I see a perfect uh, ombre here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's do it again. I hope it's no falling down again. Okay, one more time, a little bit color, and one more time with the brush, with the ombre brush, just pull, 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 this way until you don't see the line anymore. When you don't see the line anymore, then it's, it's good. This color is a little bit uh, more difficult because it's very intense. But you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, okay? Just have to be okay. Because when you, when you apply the gel, when you are going to make your apex, uh, you won't see the fade anymore. So, second step. One more layer. But this time we don't start here, but we are going to start here, a little bit lower, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It is very, very important that you use very little amount of color, otherwise it's, it's very difficult. And we are going to fade again, but this time we stay, we go still here, not so high. Of course, when you work with a client, you have to do it this way. Or you can turn, turn the hand of the client and you can work from the other side. You see, the, the shade is, uh, the fading is, is very good. Um, of course, when you use a darker, color it can be uh, more difficult um, actually you, you you need to think about the combination of the color you are going to use and the gel of or the build base you are going to use um, for instance when you are going to do a green nail I won't use pink here but I prefer like white or maybe uh, milky nude or something like that so okay let's do the second time here so again very 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 little amount of products it is a little bit difficult on the on the other one All right, and then same process. Your brush, don't forget, very, very flat. This is very important. If you work like this, you are going to take the, the color off and you will have a line. That's, it is very important that the brush is completely flat. All right. The second fade is, uh, is easier than the, than the first one. Okay, and we are going to cure. So this is the way you do with a client. So you do one nail on one hand and you do uh, another nail in the other hand. So it's, it's pretty quick. And of course, you don't have to do all the nails, you can do like two nails, color boom, and the rest of the nails you can do like a full colors or a French or whatever you like. Okay, now I'm just working on the top of the nail, as you can see. Sometimes you can do it in two steps. 
I find it easier in three steps. Okay, and we are going to fade again. And this is a color boom with gel polish. Okay. I'm going to cure and I take the other one. And again, just the tip. So we have a, a very good uh, intensity on the tip of the nail. All right, and repeat. Okay, don't worry if, if your shade is not perfect here, because we are going to cover it with the gel or the build the base, all right? Okay, let's cure the two nails and I'm going to check the build the base I'm going to use. Let me see if I have everything. So with the, um, no, this is not the one I'm going, this is for the, wait, made a mistake, wait a minute. Let me see, because we have a lot of shades uh, build the base. Okay, for the purple one, I'm going to work with uh, Milky Nude. I find it's a very nice combination. I think this is the one I used, but I'm, now I'm not sure anymore. I think this is the color, yes. So the Milky Nude. And for the pink one, I'm going to work with the with the pink. This pink with pink. Okay? So let's do that. Okay, the ombre brush, I don't need it anymore. Uh, now I'm going to work uh, with the detailer too. This is my favorite brush. And we are going to build the nail with build the base. Um, Barbara is a, is a just is a be up, buy up, you know? Yeah, buy up. It's a buy up. It's a kind of of is it is the build the base or buy up is a kind of gel which is very um, thin, let's say. But at the end, it's just a gel, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Christical. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to use the pink. No, no not true. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Oh, I'm going to use the milk in it for this one, all right? Okay, does, how does it work? First, First, I'm going to apply a very, very thin layer over the whole nail, but it has to be very thin because otherwise you are going to cover the color here. So, very, very thin. All right. This way, so you can see the color. And now we are going to make the apex uh, that is coming more or less on this place here. So with the apex, we are going to cover this area. If it's not perfect, you won't see it anymore. This is a very nice of this technique. It's, it's really easy. So I'm going to take a large amount of a uh, of build the base or be up uh, the way you want to call it. I'm going to apply it here. This is very, very easy to use. Yeah, of course, this is a long nail. Normally, we use this product for short, medium, long nails and not for so 
long nail but anyways it's going to be okay okay now let's fix it with the detailer this product is self-leveling it levels very very nice you will see I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take some B up from the top of the nail because I, I really want to to see the the purple color and I'm going to turn around this you can do with the with the nail of the client as well just turn around the the hands and the the product is going to level very very easy you can also look from the side and fix it as you can see it's very very nice to work with okay, one more time what do you think is uh, is what do you find of this technique is easy or uh, what do you think about it so, with this product, girls, you can construct a nail like a very easy. Of course, you have to <laughs> you have to work a little bit fast. Okay, I'm going to cure. I'm satisfied with the result, so I'm going to cure the nail, and I'm going to do the other nail. All right. Just for the pink one, I'm going to use the pink build base. B up, buy up. <laughs> this one. And I'm going to do the same the same process. Um, the difference is this the pink one is more um, how do you say that? It covers more than the milky pink, so be careful that you don't cover too much. Thus, first, a very, very, very thin layer, like really thin. Really, really thin. In this way. It covers a lot, the color. So the color will be less intense when I, when I finish. Now I take a large amount of products. And we are going to make the, the apex. So the most quantity of products is coming here where you have the 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 how do you say that oh my god the fading say okay and just put it there and after that i'm going to work with the liner brush detailer to to fix some imperfections all right just even if you see it like this you will see at the end it's coming very good so we are going to move the products a little bit to one side to the other side until you are satisfied i have two bubbles i hate when it happens this is because i move the product a lot but you can okay it's gone so you work with this brush and you see and you turn the nail mm -hmm. thank you crystal okay it it is easy it is very easy you just need to practice a little bit so, I was practicing today the whole day <laughs> and yesterday because with um, with a color with with a neon color but okay this is pastel neon so it's not so difficult but when the color is very very bright this technique can be very very difficult <laughs> okay I think 
you think it's all right look at that it's very nice and when it's no good so you can put some glitters on the top so you can hide the little imperfections how much will you share for this technique uh, here where i live in belgium you can charge easily uh, five uh, extra euro per nail five I, I don't know it depends depends of the of the prices in the place where you where you work here you can you can ask five you can ask uh, you know something like that i think okay we are back with the first nail and now we're going to make the art i'm going to do this here let's see um don't forget girls uh, you can buy with uh, 15 percent discount with the code alina 15. okay i think <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> yeah, Alina 15 at we 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 Alina Hoyo punt com. This is for Europe or our ugly the clean nails.com that is in America Canada okay code Alina 15 and you can buy with a 50% discount everything of ugly duckling I always forget to, to, to tell this okay back to the nails girls we have two nails and we are going to do the art, okay? So, um, so many of you ask me how I do these golden lines. How does it work? Uh, how I do these uh, little flowers? So, today you are going to see how does it work, all right? Okay, first of all, we need to apply a coat of matte. Top coat, yes. Just a coat of matte top coat because in this way you can you can see better what you do. I love matte nail, but you can also do it with shiny, the shiny look. But then this you do it at the end, okay? Just one coat matte. Curing and the other nail too. All right. Like this. Okay. Then, um, to have this uh, chrome effect, we are going to use a no wipe top coat to draw the lines, and after that, we are going to apply the chrome. All right, let me put the colors away because I'm ready with this at the moment. All right, so this is the uh, the girls of Ugly Duckling are going to kill me because I forgot my crystal palette. <laughs> oh my God, sorry. Normally I use my crystal palette to, to do this, but I, I, I forgot to, to put it here and I can't find it right now. So I put it here on my my buffer. This is also okay. Does this is the no wipe top coat? 
Okay, sorry, critical. I've totally forgot. <laughs> I'm going to to cleanse the nail. This I, I remove the tacky layer of the of the matte top coat. So now <clears throat> is the nail. The nail is matte. And I'm going to do something else. It looks like very stupid because you you will you will say why do you do that? You just apply a matte top coat. But now I'm going with the fine buffer, the blue one, on the nail because in a way of a of another, I don't know why. What is the reason? When you do this, the crumb comes better. I don't know. Don't ask me. But every time when I when I don't do it, it's like a, it's not working very good. When I do it, it's working very good. So first matte, and then like a very. I I don't I don't take the matte away. I just go very gentle with the fine um, buffer, just just a little bit. Yeah. Is okay. I don't know. Normally, I I never do this. If I'm not going to use a, a chrome, I don't do it, of course. But if I'm going to use it, I do it so, because otherwise, it's I don't know. It helps smooth out the texture of the mat. Thank you, Natasha. That will be. The, hey, hey, Priscilla, how are you, my friend? Okay, let's do this uh, this line. This is the no wipe top coat. I'm going to take a little bit with my detailer brush. You can also use the striper if you like. It is actually easier, but uh, yeah, I love the detailer. So I'm, I'm going to, to draw a straight line. I hope it's coming good at the first time. Let's see. Okay. Very, very, very thin line. I think it's very good. When you're doing this, uh, keep an eye at, um, on the point when where you end the line. Just no look at not only looking here, but also keep an eye here, so you now in which uh, direction you move. Now I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. 60 seconds and I'm going to do another kind of uh, design on the other nail, right? Okay. I remove the tacky layer. The line, I draw it with a no wipe top coat. And I'm going to smooth the surface of the matte top coat, as Natasha said, with a fine buffer. I don't remove the top coat, just smooth a little bit. And this is just a little bit alcohol. All right. Okay. I think I'm going, I'm going to try to do this design. I hope <laughs> it's coming good. <laughs> okay. Let's take some top coat with a brush and I'm going to start here and I go very, 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 very slow. I think I need to interrupt the line. You see there and then I'm going to the other side. Okay, I'm not talking because I need 100% concentration here. Just go very slow. And then I'm going to do this little thing. Curl. Okay, this can be difficult. I hope it's coming good. One, two, 
on site. I find I find this a little bit too thick. I, I'll do it again. Just this little maybe here. I do it again because when it's too thick, I don't like it. Okay, let's try again with less product. Use the 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 point of your brush. Okay. This is better. For these kind of curls, you can work with the detailer. This is very good. Okay, so we are going to cure. One minute. And now we are going to apply the chrome powder here. I hope it's going to work because uh, with chrome pigments, it is always a surprise. I recommend you to use uh, to change your your uh, your sponge regularly because when it's getting old it's not working and I prefer to use this side than the other side I don't know why but this side is working better for me okay okay here I have my cromer this is a this is a new one I just use it two times, so I, I won't change it again. This is the cromer. And with this, I'm going to apply the chrome. You can use any kind of chrome. I have uh, this golden one. It's from another brand, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can use whatever you like. So I take a little bit with the, with the cromer. And let's hope it's working. Ah, uh, it's working. There you see the golden line. If for any reason it's not working, you can cleanse the nail and apply a little bit top coat again. Uh, for instance, here I see some imperfection. Apparently I had not... My product was not enough here on this place. I think you can see the gap there. So you can you can go again with a little bit more uh, top coat. you cure again and you will have the uh... okay let's do the second one I hope this is better and I don't have uh, I hope I don't have any gaps so oh, look at that this is very nice you see I have a little, little gap here, but I'm going to paint the flower there. I'm going to place the flower there so I don't have to do anything. Remove the excess of powder. And I'm going to put it in the lump for a few seconds just to fix the product. Okay. Do you have any questions, girls? Mm -hmm. Was everything clear? Everybody understands uh, what I did. Don't forget to clean your brush. Okay, let's try this again. I hope it's going to work now. Uh, yes. You see, now I don't have any gap. I remove uh, the, the excess of uh, chrome pigment and now I am going again with the no white top coat 
I'm going to cover the line, otherwise uh, it's uh, coming off. So very, very, very slow, only on the line. This is a very long line. Till the end and cure. Uh, it is scrum in a pot. It's, it's like this, it's powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are going to do the same here. Again, a little bit of uh, um, top coat on the line. And here, only on the line, not on the nail. Okay, okay. Now this is the way I do these uh, golden lines. You can do, you can use any color you like, but yeah, I like gold. Okay. I'm going to cure and then it's uh, ready. Uh, now you can remove uh, the excess of uh, powder with a, with a wipe with a little bit of alcohol or cleanser. Okay. Voila. So now I can draw the flower. We are going to do these two, these two babies here. Do you have any? Um, uh, how long did uh, did she cure before she used the crumb? Uh, sixty seconds. I cured the top coat for sixty seconds. You have any question, girls? If you have any question, uh, please shut. Yeah. Thank you, Frida. Thank you. I'm going to clean my crystal palette. <laughs> I forgot my crystal palette. That's, I have a very nice crystal palette here <laughs> because I need to prepare some color to draw the flowers. These buffers are very useful. I have to confess, I, I, I use this always to mix uh, my things because <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> Does a uh, uh, double function. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, so let me see the other nail. Let's cleanse. Okay, yes, I remove the excess of I had here I have a little uh, bubble. Do you see that? So, so I need to place my flower there because I don't know what happened there. Okay. Let's put the things I don't need away because otherwise at the end of the life is my table is a mess. It, it starts to be a mess now. <laughs> it was everything was perfect and now look at this. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw these two flowers. And for that, I use uh, the gel polish 
281. I'll put a little bit here. And, 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 um, gel color number two. This is just white. Okay, let's take my spottle. A little bit color. And we put it here. And I'm going to mix. I start with a little bit. I just need to check the color if I like it. Okay. Let me see. I think it's, it's a little bit too dark. I'm going to take more white because I want one light uh, uh, flower and one darker. I'm going to start with the light one. I'm going to work back with the um, with the detailer too. My favorite brush ever. And let's do this this uh, flower. Okay. So I'm going to place the light one here where I have the gap. Oof. I have some pigment. Okay, so I take a little, little, little amount of products and I'm going to put the center of the flower right here. There. So I have a, a referenced hunky. And let's start with the first petal. I work from outside to the inside of the flower. This way. If you have problem with the with the position of the petals, I'm going to show you a trick. I do one and then I do one and two. This way. I don't do this the 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 one who's coming here, but the one who's coming here. A flower is so simple, but sometimes it can be difficult to do it. Okay. This way. And now the other one who's coming here. This is a flower of uh, five petals. Yeah, of course, if you do six petals or more petals, uh, it is different. Then I'm going to put one here in the middle, in between, and one here in between. And that is so easy to do. This is a little bit... Uh, oops. Yeah, now it's better. One more in between. This is gel polish and I mixed with uh, gel color white as the number two. And one more here in between. Okay, I think it's good. This petal, I'm going to do it a little bit bigger. Okay. I think it's fine this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. So to have more uh, volume, I'm going to use some uh, acryl powder, the clear one, All right? Uh, I'm going to use this pusher 
um, be careful when you choose the color because when you apply the the, the acryl powder, powder uh, the, um, the color will be darker. You will see. You see, the pink is a little bit darker now. And now we are going to cure for uh, 60 seconds, okay? All right. And meanwhile, I'm going to draw another flower. Let's do this. Now with the purple color, 282. I'm going to do the same, so mix with with white to do the other flowers all right you have any question girls yes let's do this Uh, same technique you can do one petal on the line like this and then the other two petals this way And then in between you do the other. And the other. This way you have a little flower. This is a little bit too short, I find. And then a little bit acrylic. To have more uh, volume. All right, let's do this. And cure for uh, one minute. Okay. Okay. This is the first. Uh, nail. I'm just going to remove the excess of uh, powder and there you have the flower. Okay, the second one I'm not going to do it because otherwise it's, it's, it's not so interesting, it's the same process. I just wanted to show you the um, color boom technique, the um, golden lines, and all the possibilities you have uh, with this uh, technique, uh, you see? So you can do all these uh, things. Uh, can you do it with a dotting tool or is it better with a... I prefer uh, the liner. I prefer the liner. I, I find I can work preciser, but of course you can, you can use a dotting tool if you find this is uh, better. Uh, no, no, Lisa, this is not the sorbet. I think you missed the beginning of the 
of the presentation, Lisa. These colors are the colors of the um, uh, pastel neon collection. Yeah? Pastel neon collection, these colors here. Not the sorbet. Pastel neon collection, uh, yes. Okay? Thus, this is uh, all I wanted to show you about the color boom, uh, golden lines and flowers, but now I'm going to do something else. Now I am going to do a real nail, so don't go away. Don't go away because I'm going to do a baby boomer on a real nail. This is tips, but now we are going to do a baby boomer does uh, white and pink. On a real nail. Ah, oh, this is the set on the fake. This is not real hand. Eh? This is a fake hand, but it looks so real. <laughs> okay, we are going to start with the second part of the of the life, and now I am going to work on my own hand. Just going to um, fix my table a little bit <laughs> because it's a little bit messy. So if you want to take a, a couple of minutes uh, break, you can go to drink water or to the toilet. <laughs> I'm just going to clean a little bit and I'm going to start with the baby boom. I'm going to show you uh, the manicure with the e-file. This, this is very interesting and build the base application. So the second part is more technical, let's say, than the first one. The first one was a little bit art, nail art. And now we are going to do more technical things. It's okay. Uh, you can send me a heart if you like the first part of the, of the life, please. Uh, so I know you're there. I want to see the heart. Oh, I see the heart. Thank you very much. Just cleaning. I'm just cleaning a little bit. I have a lot of uh, acryl powder everywhere. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the heart. Okay, let me see. I have everything. Yes, okay, so uh, this nail you see here is um, it's a baby boomer, but I apply some of the new um, um, moonstone top coats. Let me see if I move the light. It's a little bit difficult to see on the on the camera, but it's very nice. So I'm going to do something like this, but here I'm going to show you the manicure with the e-file and uh, some um, buy-up application. Good. Okay, let's start with it. Do you have any question, girls? Uh, the manicure I do is uh, very, very simple. I'm using this, um, this bit. It's a very, very, very little one. I start by pushing my... I'm, I know this is not the cuticle, girls, but I'm going to call cuticle because it's easier. So I'm going to push my cuticle very, very soft. Let me put some alcohol because I, I have a little bit oil. My nail is a little bit oily. <laughs> yeah, the moonstone is really, really amazing. I, I really love it. So. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with the manicure. I just I'm going to show you how I do this. This is not the uh, the the only way. Uh, everybody do in a different way. I do it this way. Uh, for me, 
it, it works for me. So if you like it, you can, you can do it. If you don't like it, you can do in your own way. So I'm going to start in the middle of the nail and I'm going to work in this direction. And my, my E file is on a forward position. All right. After that, I'm going to work to the other side and then my E file is in the reverse position. It's okay. I have some color here. <laughs> I think I have some color for my... All right. Um, speed more or less between 10,000 and 15,000 uh, RPM. All right. Please be gentle with your nail. You don't have to push so hard. Just very, very, very soft. The, the idea is that you remove this white uh, dead skin from the nail plates. And you can also work uh, at the corners of the finger if he, your client has uh, like a hard uh, skin in that place. Uh, wait, just going to remove the dust. dust. This is a very uh, simple and gentle manicure. It's not aggressive at all. Uh, so just remove the little um, the, the dry skin that uh, is on the nail plate, okay? Good. So I did one side. Now I am going to change the direction of the e-file and I'm going to do the other side. Don't forget you can buy the product of Ugly Duckling with 15% discount with the code ALINA15 in uh, uh, the Ugly Duckling webshop in my webshop as well. So now I'm doing the other side. Very, very gentle girls. We don't need to, if you, if you push too hard, you will damage uh, the, the nail plate. This bit is the rounded butt. Rounded butt from Stalex. You can find it on my uh, website. So, all right. Um, Priscilla, would you like to, to, to write the, the two web shops? Please, on the comments, because I can write right now. So, um, yeah, of course, not all the nails are the same. And, uh, with some people you have more work done with my nail. I don't have uh, uh, too much uh, skin, I mean. Um, okay, about cutting the cuticle, my philosophy is if it's not necessary, I don't cut it. If you see it is necessary, you can Cut a little bit, but not completely. This is my philosophy, but you know, is there's there's a big dilemma with this. Uh, uh, so many opinions. This is just my opinion. I see with the long term that my cuticles are better if I don't cut. But you know, if you like to do it, just do it. No problem. Okay, so manicure is ready this is a very very easy manicure i'm just going to push my cuticle a little bit more just to check everything is is good because i don't want any kind of uh, skin when you when you let skin here um the products can come off and you were, the, the, the finishing of the nail is not so, it's not so beautiful. Okay, so let's start. First step. With any, um, how do you say that? Uh, with any uh, treatment you do with uh, ugly docking products, 
Step one is nail prep. Okay. This is the nail prep. I want to be sure my nail is completely dry and I don't have any greasy surface. All right. It dries just like that. Second step is the primer. The primer is for a better adhesion between the natural nail and the gel or the BIAP. All right. I recommend you to use a very, very, very thin amount. Too much primer is no good. So what I do is I do this way if I have too much on my brush. And only on the natural nail, please don't touch the skin. If you, if you touch the skin with this product, number one, you can have a, um, a reaction. It doesn't happen normally, but it can cause uh, an allergic reactions of irritation. And number two, you make a kind of connection between the nail and the skin does any other product you will use is going to um how do you say that to run in that place okay this is it is very important you don't touch the skin with the primer okay okay that was the second step third step is a thin layer of uh, build the base uh, clear because this uh <clears throat> this product has a better adhesion than the others. This is my opinion. This product uh, uh, contains no pigment, so the adhesion is very, very good. And the same, please don't touch the skin with the product. All right? Just a very, very thin layer. A very clean line and the other side the same when you're working with your client <coughs> you can do all five nails together all right this step girls is very 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 important if you want a very nice uh, finish it's good so now I'm going to cure for one minute. So for the baby boomer, I'm going to work with the uh, wait, the milky pink and the milky white. I'm going to work with these two uh, build a base, be ups, but because I want uh, I want my milky white to be a little bit whiter. I'm going to add a little bit of gel polish uh, 44, okay? So I'm going to mix the milky white with a little bit uh, uh, <clears throat> white gel polish. But if, if you prefer a softer white, you can use this directly, all right? My hand is in the lamp. It's curing one minute. Okay, done. Okay, let's come back to the <laughs> to my palette. And now I'm going to use the this this brush. I really love it. This is the gel brush number four. It is amazing. I really love it. This one. I'm going to work with this and with the detailer. But first, let's. Let's main. Let main. This is in Dutch. Let's mix some uh, product. So, this, this is the milky white build the base by up, and this is gel polish uh, forty four. Be careful. Don't uh, add too much white because if your gel is really really is too white. 
you can have problem with that. It's, the baby boom can be very difficult. So I'm going to do, to use just a little bit. Uh, the website is Niberic, but what do you mean, Chantal? Wait, 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 alinahoyer.com normally is working. Anja or, or Priscilla, can you take a look to my website? Apparently is not working. Okay, let's mix this. Let's make the milky white a little bit whiter. I think uh, I think it's okay now. All right. Uh, you can refresh your refresh your Google Chantal. Okay. Voila. So I have the color I want. Okay, now pay attention, girls. Let's do this because uh, baby boom can be a little bit difficult. But I'm going to show you a trick, and it's uh, it's very easy. So I'm going to take a little bit product with my gel brush, and I'm going to apply it, the the product still here, more or less. So two thirds of the nail, a very 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 thin layer. Okay like this pay attention to the size the corners uh, and the other side so the white here dot here is okay now i'm going to take a little bit more product not too much because it's a short nail okay And now I put the color, the white here. Uh, Priscilla, is the web website working or not? Anya, have you Bobby contacted? Okay. Um, I was worried about the website. So I apply a little bit amount of color here. Yeah, the website is uh, crashed <laughs> too much orders <laughs> okay and then with the detailer tool i'm going to do the fade same process of the um, of the um, color boom your brush have to be very flat on the nail all right this way because the nail is wet with the first coat you can do this fade very very easy and then you have to pull a little bit toward the free edge i think i'm going to add some more product here because it's uh, it's not enough If you do this good, is your baby booming is almost done, believe me. So I'm going to apply some more color here on the top. Just a little bit. And here on the sides, because it's too... It's not covered at all. Just a little bit more. And the other side too. All right, so when you have this, the, the baby boom is almost done, girls. You have to take a look from this side and check everything is the same um, thickness. I've been out of fallen. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it or not? Okay. 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 Then I'm going to cure.
Okay. Okay, everybody see me, but someone can't see me. But uh, I don't know. Uh, here is working perfectly. So now I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to build the nail with uh, build the base uh, milky pink. You can also use another shade. You can use the fufu, you can use the, um, the pink or the um, warm fufu. This is also very nice. Uh, actually, you can do whatever you like, uh, the combination you prefer. I, I like a lot the... This combination is very, very soft, so I'm going to do this. It's just uh, 13 more seconds, because that was uh, uh, the gel brush number four, the detailer, and I mix some uh, milky white with uh, gel polish 44 to, to make my, my white uh, whiter. All right. Ah, yeah, with the rosé, it's also very nice. Because this is the milky pink. This is a very, very soft shade. I like it a lot. Look at that. This is very nice. Okay. Now, we are going to... Um, nail Linda, uh, I use the milky white. And, uh, and I mix it with the gel polish 44. And now I'm working with the milky pink. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to apply a very, very thin coat. Very thin, very thin, very thin. All over the nail but very thin because I don't want my white to be covered. All right. So you still see the white. <clears throat> yes, of course you can do longer nails in this way. Yes, my nail is short and I don't want it to, to, <laughs> to make an extension. So then I'm take a larger amount of products and I put it here all right and the rest of the work I do it with the detailer too this very thin brush I start on the side on the other side and then in the middle This way, this way, and then I turn my finger. <coughs> um, no, I don't cure. I don't cure because I need uh, the nail to be a little bit uh, uh, wet, let's say. Take a look from the side that everything is perfect. <coughs> Turn the finger. Oh my God, I need to drink some water. Wait, you can see. Wait a minute. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I think I have so, some dust in my <laughs> in my kill. But you see, this product, girls, this product is amazing because I was drinking water, doing my own nail, and the product stays there. So I think I'm satisfied with my nail. So I think I'm going to cure. Okay, let's cure this baby. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put the low heat uh, 
function. Do you have any question, girls? I hope the website is working again. This is a little bit psychedelic. <laughs> this is something, this happens with the camera because my, my lamp is working like normally. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you have any question, girls, about this uh, super, super easy baby boomer? You can use this technique uh, with uh, long nails. Uh, uh, you can use the same technique uh, with uh, gel, with uh, um, acrylic gel, with everything. This, with acrylic, I don't know, I suppose it's the same thing. <clears throat> Okay, so you see the boomer there. Uh, if you find it's necessary, you can cleanse the nail and you can file a little bit, only if necessary. I'm going to show you, but if it's not necessary, you just can apply your top coat and then it's ready. I'm going to file just a little bit to show you how to do it. Be careful with the sides. I find this is much nicer when you when you file a little bit. Everything comes so perfect. And the surface, I'm just going to use the the buffer, <clears throat> just the medium buffer. Just be careful because if you file too much, you can uh, remove the the white. Just yes, uh, be careful with that. Not over filing. This is the dustiest, and now I'm going to apply a top coat. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's apply a thin layer, no white top coat. Oh, I can't open my bottle. Oh my God. What happened here? <laughs> Wait, something happens, but it's not opening. I just use it right now. It's, right, okay, it's good, it's good. This is the no wipe top coat. If you find any imperfections, you can fix it with the top coat, okay? I'm going to cure. Sorry, I don't have a, a beautiful, beautiful hands. <laughs> my nail is not so beautiful, but uh, I think you understood uh, very good the technique. <clears throat> yeah, milky white, my blouse, I couldn't make an omelette. Yes, of course, of course, you can do that. You can do that, Milly. Yes. The the milky white uh, build the base. You can mix it with any color, and it is very nice because you can do a baby boomer in all colors or a, a moonstone. Oh, sorry. Yeah, shit. I forgot the moonstone. Uh, do you want to see the moonstone, girls? I can buffer and put the moonstone. Sorry, I do it now. Who wants to see the moonstone? Send me a heart if you want to see the the moonstone. Yeah, I, I I totally forgot the moonstone. But yeah, so you you can see the two looks. This is the looks on the uh, without moonstone. And then uh, I'm going to show you with the moonstone. So uh, I'm going to buff again. 
<laughs> Sorry, I totally, totally forgot. So. Sorry, girls. No, we are. We can do it now. It's no problem. And so I have to nails they are the same with the moonstone i don't know how many of these we sell this month this is like very 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 nice okay let's find my magnet all right i have it and let's play a little bit with the moonstone does the moonstone is just a uh, a cat eye top coat you can apply it on any color uh, one color looks better than all the color you can you can try you can uh, make some proof you see it's like this so it's a no wipe top coat so you don't need to do anything else once you apply it once you cure it so let's do it And it's also very nice to cover the mistakes you make <laughs> with color boom or with uh, baby boom. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's uh, let's play with it. Uh, so for with this top coat you need a magnet like uh, you use it in the same way you use a, a cat eye I hope wait let me I'm going to remove this light I hope you can see wait a minute so, because it's some something a little bit difficult to see can you see how it's moving Wait, maybe without uh, extra light is it is better. Do you see it moves? Look, 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 look. Believe me, in in a real is much more nicer. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. I got it. I got it. This is so beautiful. I can play it for hours <laughs> with this, like really. You see? It is very nice. You can also remove it from here and you can leave it on the top of the nail. Look at that. Okay, this is the way. I think I'm going to to cure it this way. I like it. Let's go inside. Nice, 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 nice. That was the uh, moonstone top coat. Now just cure it and. And it's ready. It's ready. <clears throat> Just a couple of seconds. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so we are almost uh, done, girls. It was a very nice uh, life. <laughs> 15 seconds. So um, I'm going to show the products uh, one more time for the girls uh, that were a little bit late. Oh, look, look, my nail. I'm going to put some oil because it is very, very, very dry. Let's put some oil here. So it looks nicer. Mm-hmm. 
and let's use this to have the shine back oh look at that this is look this one is also with a uh, moonstone but uh, more uh, subtle this one here i apply more more products uh, you see so if you like if you like something like this is it is possible if you like something more something like this this is also possible okay all right, okay girls, this uh, was everything I wanted to show you. For the girls uh, who were late, uh, I was working in the beginning of the life with this um, beautiful pastel neon collection and I was doing some color booms in combination with uh, different uh, build the base, buy ups. And after that, I, I also did the the um, the golden lines uh, uh, the flowers uh, and uh, uh, yes of course critical I do that I hope I know how to do it uh, someone have to tell me how to do it <laughs> and the second part of the life was uh, um, baby boom with uh, buy up so with build the base and at the end the moonstone so that this was everything this life is going to stay on the page of uh, of uh, ugly duckling where is the save button I don't see it uh, crystal I don't have any save button how does it look <laughs> yes this life is going to stay I'm just trying to save it, but I don't know how to do it. Well, anyways, uh, girls, thank you so much for everything. Um, if you do some samples, you can send to me. And don't forget, you can chop with 15% discount. Code Alina15 on my website, web shop, and on the web shop of Ugly Duckling. Thank you so much, girls, and I see you next time. So, Christopher, tell me where I should, uh, I should. How do I save this? I don't. I really don't know. What what what, what should I do? <laughs> Christopher, help! I just see the the arrow at the at, on the right side. Sir. When you end the life, it will pop up. But how do I end the life? I don't know how to end the life. <laughs> when you end the life, I don't know how to do it. I never go live on Instagram. Of yeah, I just have to close. I I just have to touch the crowd, the 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 X. Ah, okay, okay. I I wasn't sure. I didn't want to erase it. Okay, the X is done. Are you sure you want to end the video?